Hello, Aquariuses. Thank you for visiting Stella K. Um, I'm Stella K, by the way. Stella K Tarot is the name of my channel. I just started it. This is my uh, sec second Aquarius video. It's after midnight. I'm super tired. So if I mess up my words and I'm a little nervous and I'm like a hand talker, good thing I'm going to be playing with cards so you don't have to see me do all this. Um, just give me a break. Push that subscribe button and the like button if you like my video afterwards. Give me a couple of weeks and let's see if we resonate. Okay, so today we're going to do um, a you versus them video. This is for Aquarius, Sun, Moon, and Rising, and Venus signs. Also, this isn't going to resonate with everyone. There is like a ton of YouTube readers on YouTube, and you're going to find one that resonates with you. I hope I am that one. So you will watch me all the time so I can get some stuff started on here. You know, I'm trying to do my best here. Just so you know a little bit about me, and I'm actually going to start shuffling your deck. I'm going to use a Robert Hansen deck for your row, which is going to be the top spread. I actually made the spread up myself. Um, I looked through a whole bunch of books, and I just, nothing resonated with me. So I made up my own spread for the universe um, video, which I like them too, you know. Um, they're a lot of fun. And you do learn a lot. And a lot of times these people resonate with me, and I hope I resonate with you too. Um, just so you know a little bit about me, um, I'm a 40 something year old single mom. I, um, flip houses during the day. So I want to thank all the beauty bloggers and they call them hacks now or something like that. Um, for, you know, showing me how to do my hair and my makeup because I'm always in baseball caps and flannels and, uh, happy birthday, mom. Mom's birthday was just two days ago, and I know she, hopefully she'll watch my videos. So that would be pretty cool. Okay, so anyways, what we're going to do in this is we're going to pull a top row for you, a bottom row for them, and then two cards out of the sexual tarot deck for neutral energies that may be, uh, give you a little bit of insight into some sexy time stuff. Um... I say um too much. I'm still learning. I'm trying so hard here. I swear I am. I'm doing my best. So uh, I'm going to cut the cards and we're going to see what your energy is. Enough about me. I'll talk about me more when I'm shuffling instead of you just sitting there watching me shuffle. So, all right. The bottom of your card is justice. You could be dating a Libra, a fellow air sign. Or you could just need some justice in your life. I mean, this could be like making decisions. It could mean like paying for consequences or consequences that need to be paid out. And for me, when I look at this card, and I know every deck has their own meanings because there's a different artist and a different curator for every deck. But for me, sometimes this can mean karma. Good karma or bad it can mean karma. I think justice and karma are kind of the same words. So, oh, I don't want to shuffle it again. What am I doing? I got to pull your, uh, I told you after midnight, I got a day job. I'm getting tired, but I want to get these in for you guys. I want to be a part of this YouTube family and I want you to be a part of mine. So push subscribe because look how tired I am right now. I ate a fajita, which I shouldn't have done because now I'm tired. All right. So this is your present emotions. This is your subconscious emotions. Sorry, I have to move the pen out of the way. Your obstacles. Influences of other people, which I added in because I think that makes such a huge deal in relationships, especially when you're first starting one. Because if you're watching a you versus them video, you're either in a fight or you're not sure about something. And what people can say to us and our significant others or a person of interest can make a huge difference. Okay, what you should do and the outcome of what you want out of this relationship. For their spread, which will be the same things, I'm going to use Everyday Tarot. 
a little bit. I have pre-shuffled all these before. I do uh, about a half hour meditation before each one, and I try to meditate on you guys and um, see what comes up. And for some reason today, I just, when I was, I, I kept hearing like Undrunk, that song Undrunk. I was in the car with my niece the other day, and she just loves this song. I wish I could get a little undrunk. So maybe somebody made an oopsie. Hopefully it wasn't you. And hopefully it wasn't them. Hopefully that's just something that came into my head because I listened to it so many times over and over again. My niece is 19. She can listen to stuff like that and get it. Okay. So let's cut this deck and see what their overall energy is. And it is... The Knight of Swords. Now, he is like the fastest moving knight in the deck. He can be impulsive. Fast changes can come with him. He um, he races to what he wants. And he gets what he wants most of the time. He's the Knight of Swords. And he's an air sign, just like you. So maybe this role will resonate more with you. All right. So let's pull their present emotions their subconscious feelings, the obstacles, influences of others, what you should do, and your outcome, and what the, you want out of the relationship. Or I should say they, because this is really theirs. Okay. Oh, my computer keeps coming up with all these. I just got a new computer two days ago. And it just kept, keeps giving me, like, virus alerts, and it's driving me a little bit nuts. So, hold on one second. I'm just going to come over here and tell them to remind me later. Okay. I already read the first one that came up. It came up. It, it, it's coming up, like, every five minutes. I don't know. It's, a, it's like a new thing. It downloads. I am computer retarded. My son taught me how to do all this YouTube stuff. I had no idea. I was like, I want to do this. And he's like, well, mom, you do readings for people because he's 14. He's like, you should do them online on YouTube. People do that on YouTube. I'm like, really? And when I started watching, I'm like, oh, well, I'll do it on YouTube. Yeah. But it's keeping me up late at night. I'm pretty tired right now. But I'm going to be there for y'all. All right. So let's get started. Enough about me. All right. Present emotions. Queen of Swords. So right now you feel like you need to cut something out. The Queen of Swords, she is uh, not indecisive. She is decisive. She knows what she wants. She cuts out things she needs to cut out, and she don't take any BS. Like, she is hardcore. Like, you don't mess with the Queen of Swords. So no one's messing with you, because yeah, I'm going to read this as yours. All right, and your subconscious feelings, you have a star. Look at how beautiful. I'm sorry, I have a halo light, so it might kind of, these are a little shiny. But look how beautiful that card is. It's beautiful. In your subconscious, like, you have hope. You're hoping for something subconsciously. Like, in your subconscious, like, you might be the queen of swords in your head right now. But subconsciously, you want peace. You're inspired by something. This person is inspiring you to, like, maybe want to do more or be more. And you're an air sign, so you're really cerebral, so you're in your head. But she, this is a beautiful card to have in your subconscious. It means you're a very good person. All right, your obstacle is a two of swords, which is making a decision. She has two... Uh, swords across her chest and she's blindfolded. She doesn't know where to go. Maybe you're deciding. I mean, sometimes uh, while I do love readings, sometimes career can totally pop up or family matters. So somewhere in your life right now, there is a decision that you need to make that is giving you a huge obstacle and you need to think about it. And maybe that's where this hope is that is coming from, from the star. The star card is all about hope. Like you're just hoping you make the right decision. Okay, the influence of others. So what they think is the emperor. They must really like you or the person that you're with. Because like I said, you're going to choose which one of these resonates with you. Maybe all the reading won't. Maybe some of it will. Hopefully all of it does, but it's not always going to work that way. If a little bit resonates with you, that's amazing. 
But this is the emperor. He, oh, it means, it also means you could just be dating an Aries, you know, the person that you, your person of interest can be an Aries, but it can also just mean like, you know, this is like, he has all of his stuff together. He is strong. He is stable. He's intelligent. He doesn't really have to think twice on his decisions. He is confident. He knows what he's doing. And this is the way people look at you, obviously. You are admired. That I have never seen that in that placement. And I've used this quite a bit. Okay, so in the what you should do category is the Eight of Cups. So when you're looking at the Eight of Cups, you know, you're kind of thinking about walking away from something or someone. So maybe that decision you need to make, you're pretty sure about what you're doing because the what you should do, you need to walk away from someone or something, either a job, if career is coming up in this because you're an Aquarius, so your career could come up in this. You know, you get Aquarius as our like Oprah babies. I mean, she's an Aquarius. That's what I always call like Aquarius as like Oprah's little babies because you guys are like so secure and you guys just, when you go, you go big and you don't go home until you go big. So there's something you need to walk away from and you probably already know what I'm talking about. I don't even know why I try to do readings for Oprah babies. You guys got your stuff together. <laughs> I'm just joking. All right. And your outcome is the Ten of Rods. The Ten of Rods means you've got a lot of burdens right now. This guy is carrying, you know, Ten Rods, but he's almost to the castle. And that's one thing I love about Tens is that you there's nowhere else to go but to an Ace. He's almost to the castle. And he is going to put those down and go down to an ace. And then he's going to go take a nap and he's going to wake up a happy man because all these burdens are gone off his back. And that's what's going to happen with you. Like you're almost there, girl or boy, you're almost there. All right. So your person of interest, let's look at what they're thinking and their present emotions. The page of pentacles. So pages are always going to be um, messages when I think about it. Like pages of pentacles, like when I think, I think it's like a small text message. Like somebody's like a little bit shy and they're like, hey, like they're going to send you something like, or give you a call and just say, what are you doing? What's up? How was your day? You know, it's going to be like a short little thing. It, it's, but it, it's like just them wanting to talk to you. You know, it's a small message. But a page, a small message can sometimes mean so much. So, okay, and they're subconscious. We have the page of swords. So maybe they're getting a little bit more aggressive. Because when you think of the page of swords, or they're spying on you, I mean, but come on. When you're like trying to date someone nowadays, who doesn't look at someone else's social media? Don't lie. You do it. And you know you do. You do it. You look at the first time you meet someone that you're even a little interested in, you, you spy. You know, but it can also just mean, mean like a little bit of fast communication. It can mean they're getting more aggressive in their communication where they're not just saying what's up. They're like, what's up, hottie? You know, what's up, sexy, sexy lady? What's up, sexy man? You know, they could be doing that too. But definitely a little bit of spying is going on. So, and remember, that could be you too. I think it's both of you. I think it's everyone nowadays. Like, if you don't have a cell phone, are you not on Facebook? Do you not have an Instagram? I don't have an Instagram, honestly. I have to have my son set one up now that I'm doing this. I have never, I've used it like twice to try to get a free kickboxing lesson. <laughs> I'm so technology retarded. Oh my God. Okay, so the obstacle is the Hierophant. The Hierophant is the obstacle, or it means you could, this could be a Taurus route you're interested in. The Hierophant could just be a Taurus. Cards can mean just simple signs. Or, you know, this can mean uh, you may think they're a little too intelligent. Because this is like an authoritative figure. Like, they have wisdom. They're teachers. They are um, very you know, they, they're mentors of other people. Don't feel that way if that's the way you're feeling, or maybe it's the way the person looks at you. 
you know, they look at you like, I mean, you are an Oprah baby. So, you know, maybe they could be a little bit intimidated. It could be an obstacle with some people. It is. Some people want their equals. I mean, for me, I want someone like above me. I mean, I want them, you know, man, I want someone who does better than I do. All right. So in your fourth position, we have the Knight of Cups here, which is the influence of others. So the Knight of Cups is a cup of love coming your way. He's on a horse and he's carrying a cup of love and it's full to the rim and he's not going to spill a thing. He wears his heart on his sleeve. So this person is somebody that wears their heart on their sleeve. They are not going to lie to you. They are never intentionally going to hurt you. They are not cheaters. They are really good people. So it just happened again. It said it wouldn't happen for 15 minutes. I hope it doesn't go in the shot. I'm not reshooting anything. And I've said this in every video because something happens in every video. I just want you guys to get to know me authentically. Because if I'm not authentic, then what kind of reader would I be? Okay, in your fifth position is what should you do? The hangman. Usually means stagnation. You know, when you're in the hangman position, you're hanging upside down, basically. You know, unless you just have a bad back and you're in one of those, like, crazy chairs that, like, put you upside down, which I would love right now. I have a pillow on back of me. It's not really uh, helping much, though. I'm leaning forward. But, um... You're stagnant, or they're they're stagnant, sorry. But that kind of goes along with all this. Like they may be they may be extremely intelligent and a mentor, but it's like they went from the page of pentacles to the sword or the page of pentacles to the page of swords, which means they're stepping it up. They're a hero font. So they're extremely intelligent, they're authoritative, but then they're the knight of cups too, so they wear their heart on their sleeve. So being stagnant for a minute. And being still is probably something they will do once in a while. Or you will if this resonates more with you. But you're Oprah baby and you're an Aquarius, so I don't think that's happening. But it could. You know, it could. But there's nothing wrong with being stagnant sometimes. That means you're thinking. All right. And the outcome and what you want out of this relationship is the Eight of Swords. You want to be blindfolded. That's what you want. You want to be blindfolded. So what you need to do, I mean, really what this means in tarot is like you're not seeing the truth and there's all these swords behind you and your hands are bound behind you and you're blindfolded and all you need to do is step back and cut your binds off your hands and take your blindfold off. But right now, I'm just going to say like, you know what they say, like you watch out for the shy ones. You know, I'm sure you've heard there that saying. If you're over like 20, you've heard that saying. But uh, yeah, watch out for them shy ones. Let's go to sexual tarot. Let's see what they have to say. The secrets of my sexual tarot deck. It might shake a little bit when I do this. This is only my second day using the computer, and it's my first time today using it. Um, I usually use my son's phone because that's how he taught me how to use YouTube. He's a genius. He's got autism. He's 14 years old. But he's a genius. Yes. And so cute, too. I've actually had people come up to me at malls and give me cards because he looks like a little gap model. He's so cute. One day I'll make him come down and say hi. I'm not going anywhere for a while, so hit that subscribe button. And hit the like button. This wasn't a bad reading. This was a good reading so far, as far as I'm concerned. I think you guys have personalities that kind of mesh together really well. I like how the personalities mesh together here. Little Oprah babies. Overachievers. You Aquariuses. All right, so we're going to look at the bottom of the deck. For your first, which is the 
Ace of Chalices, which is the Ace of Cups. This is the second time I've got this tonight, but you guys are like me six or seven nine. But they look really happy. I'm sorry, my halo light like doesn't do good with these cards. That's loving. They're having some fun with their big old cup of love. I'm sure there's, see that big old cup right there? Look how big the cup is. And look at them under them sheets. They're having a good time. By the way, if you have children in the room, like, get them out. I always forget to say that before I pull this card out. All right, right now. I don't know what the next card may be. It may have nudity in it. Get the kids out of the house and put your earbuds in. Push, push pause. Okay. All right. So we are going to do just the top one for your secret neutral energy, which is the Ten of Swords. So we have a shy person here. And then we have a person here that at the end was very stressed. And we have a person here that at the end is really stressed. So right now, I'm going to say you guys are not completely in union. What I hate about the Ten of Swords is that if you can see in the little window, there's another couple back there. And they're making love and she's in a bedroom by herself. So there are choices to be made. But I mean, we had like four different decision cards, right? You have to make the decision of who you want unless you resonate more with the other one because you had the two of swords in the top row. So you need to figure it out. One of you guys needs to figure it out, whichever one you resonated more. One thing I hate about these shirts like this, you know what I'm talking about, ladies. You're always pulling them down because they're always creeping up on you, you know. But uh, I like it. it. It's shiny. You just can't tell I'm a halo light. All right. Well, I'm Stella K. Please hit the subscribe button. Give me a couple weeks and let's see if we can resonate with each other. Um, I have so much fun doing this with y'all and I want to continue to do it. Um, you can get me at StellaKTarot.com or uh, StellaKTarot at Yahoo.com. Uh, for um, emails if you have any questions or you want personal readings and you can also do that on my website. I'm super excited to be here and I just want to thank you all so much for watching my video. Like no one is more thankful than I am when something good happens to me and whenever I see that someone watched my video and they liked it I just have like this little glow inside and it makes me feel really good. So thank you so much, and I hope you're happy and healthy and safe, and you enjoy coming out of isolation. And I will see you guys next time I see ya. And hopefully that'll be soon. Have a great week.